All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another video. I know most of y'all already heard about this. Look, I'm still playing catch up over here, but it's time for a first look on this one. It's here, y'all, for UFC 300. The co main event is here. Zhang Wei Li should be making her second title defense against the number one contender, Yan Xiaonan, in Las Vegas. I know I thought they were saving this one for Shanghai, but we got a major event coming up, so they needed a big title fight. And they definitely needed like a good representation for WMMA. So they had to go with this fight. So they decided to put this one on the card, which makes the card better to me. You know, I'm, I'm definitely liking this one, you know, especially after the other fight that's been announced. Right. Holly and Kayla. I mean, whatever. Right. But this one, you know, definitely makes up for it. I know most people are crying that Tatiana Suarez didn't get the title shot. But look, she'll get her shot. She'll get her shot eventually. And it wouldn't have worked out anyway because now she's injured. Right. So. At least we got a fight, right? Because, you know, Tatiana Suarez, you know, I felt like she was making a nice little comeback. But I kept thinking, man, I kept thinking, I was like, I hope she doesn't get injured. I hope she can just kind of take her time, you know, and build her skills up, you know, for this division that's evolved since, you know, her four year absence. You know, so um, maybe this is just, you know, maybe this is just a you know good thing for her. You know, maybe it's just a little sign where it just turned out this way. It was perfect timing for her, you know, to kind of get a chance to sit back, heal up, and maybe even, you know, just kind of grow mentally as far as, you know, building up what she sees from other fighters and what she can, you know, what what can she improve on, right? So, you know, like I said, some everything happens for a reason. You know, some things just happen for a reason like that. Um, but yeah, like I said before too, you can't deny Jan's position. You know, you can't deny her position and what she's worked for. Because on one hand, you know, I see it like this. Because on one hand, all right, if a fighter like Jan Janan said she wasn't ready and she wanted one more fight, you know what people would have done. People would have called her a duck. People would have called her a duck straight up and said she don't want to fight Zhang Wei Li. Like, she went on a nice little two-fight win streak, right? And then in a minute she would say, I want another fight before I fight the champion. People would say, oh, she ducking. She ducking, right? But now that she's in position and she's earned the shot, she can't have it. Come on, it don't work that way, man. So, look, it's on now. Zhang Wei Li, Yan Zhanan, the fight makes sense. Two plus two for me. You know, she earned it. She was active. She's number one. Give her a shot, right? So, um, let's see. Taking a look at these fighters, let's see. Zhang Wei Li, she's coming off, what, three dominant wins. You know, she defeated Joanna in that rematch. Uh, she defeated Carla Spars in a dominant fight to take the belt. And she dominated, pretty much washed Amanda Lamos you know, lopsided decision. And since then, I mean, John Whaley's just been showing a lot of improvement, right? You know, Amanda Lamos, I thought she had a good chance, but John Whaley on another level, man, just on another level with what she's shown. Um, good first title defense. Jan Janan, she's coming off, like I said, two fight win streak over Dern and Andrade. Both fights look good. Some people might say three fight win streak because some people felt like Marina Rodriguez done enough to win that fight. I mean, Jan Janan done enough to beat Marina Rodriguez, right? So you could say three fights, you know, she looked good in all three of those fights. You know, she snapped that two fight losing streak, you know, against, uh, well, yeah, Marina, um, but she basically, you know, snapped that streak, Marina and Carla. But like I said, that could have been a victory in a lot of people's eyes and maybe even her own eyes. Right. But yeah, that's two big wins. And since then, you know, she's linked up with Uriah Faber. Uh, she's been working on a ground game. You know, she's really been putting everything together, uh, looking a lot better since the Carla Sparza fight, you know, still, like I said, it's a never, it's a, a never-ending battle. You know, you got to grow every day. So, um, my thoughts on the fight, you know, for Whaley, this is a kind of normal turnaround for her. About eight or nine months, you know, she usually takes about eight or nine months to return. You know, they're really trying to line up a fight for her all the time. You know, I wish she could be a little bit more active, but yeah, about eight months out since the uh, last fight with Amanda Lemos. But for uh, Jan Janan, you know, this will make eleven months. You know, it's be about eleven months. So hopefully you know, this time was used wisely, you know, hopefully they've had enough time to, you know, actually absorb a lot of what Zhang Weili does, you know, they study what they're up against, and she's staying sharp, you know, I hope there's no, you know, cage rust there, but sometimes there is, you know, 11 months is a long time, I kind of wanted to see her get a fight in between, you know, but, or if not in between, I wish they would have pushed the fight up to like December for Zhang Wei, uh, for Yan Zhanan and Zhang Wei Li because, you know, the more they kept pushing it out, I was like, okay, this might, this might make Yan Zhanan a little rusty, but we'll see. We'll see. I know a lot of people think this fight is going to be another dominant victory for Wei Li. 
But we never know, man. This is MMA. We never know because if Yan Jana, she's able to use certain tools that could offset the champ, you know, she could turn this whole thing around. But it does it does take a well-rounded fighter to beat someone like Wei Li right now because, you know, Wei Li is just improving in a lot of different things. And you also need some of those natural abilities as well. You know, that no quit, that ability to get physical and just have that strength. And Yan Jana, looking at Yan Jana, she's a little bit taller than Wei Li. She's got those wide shoulders. She's a big straw weight, but she's never really been that type of physical fighter. You know, she's just never been that one. She likes to kick, box, and move. Uh, but if she just was able to use that size, I think she'd have that, you know, ability to give uh, Zhang Wei Li problems. So hopefully they've been working on that wrestling and that clinch game just in case. Just in case they get in those situations that they have to counter and defend. But I really don't want to see her just go straight head up with John Wei Li and the wrestling or anything like that. Or like the cage fighting or anything. Just in case she has to. You know, in case she has to. Um, yeah, we've seen what trouble Carla was for. You know, and that was just a few years ago. So hopefully, you know, her takedown defense is sharper. Because I don't I don't know if that strength, you know, of... Uh, I don't I don't know if she's really improved that much to be able to go to the ground with Wei Li and then have to fight off of her back. So to me, it's still wise for her to just really stick to what she knows, you know, because, you know, we know how strong Zhang Wei Li is. You know, she's showing it in plenty of fights, whereas, um, you know, Yan Zhanan is always dependent on her speed and her footwork. And to me, those are the two things that I think she's going to really have to incorporate in this fight to give Yan, uh, Zhang Wei Li some problems, you know, that footwork. Number one, footwork. That's one of the things that's really been um, Zhang Wei Li's kryptonite, you know, against Rose. Uh, both of those fights, you know, just the way she's in and out and the way she measures range. Uh, you know, she 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 was the type of fighter to make uh, Zhang Wei Li respect her, you know. And same with Yo Yoana. You know, they, they went hard in that first fight, but that footwork was tricky at times. And even whenever she was with Southpaw, you know, she, she was able to catch Zhang Wei Li you know, to the chin with a couple of those good left kicks and straight left hands. So uh, I think a fighter that can, um, you know, just kind of use that quick little uh, stutter step at times like Yan Zhanan, they can give her some problems. So, you know, if she's able to be in and out and use a lot of footwork and she has that cardio to do it, you know, she could pot shot Wei Li, you know, she's going to have to be able to pot shot Wei Li and at times, you know, use that Lipsky kind of takedown defense where uh, she has to clinch up, use the physical strength, and land those knees to the body. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, Yan Zhan on a hope that, you know, like Uriah favors somebody that can help her really uh, exploit that size and physical strength that she can use that to her advantage in this type of fight. But yeah, man, um, I think it'll be an interesting fight. You know, I think it's gonna be interesting. I know right now I got to lean towards Zhang Wei Li, somebody that's just constantly improving and, you know, that's seen different looks and they just have that championship mindset. But again, like I said, Yan, Yan Zhan on, man, you just never know. She could have that footwork that's needed. We know she has that precision punching. You know, just ask Jessica Andrade. But it's going to take a hell of a lot of movement, you know, some good jabs. And she's going to have to have some confidence in that uh, precision. You know, she's going to have to be homing in on that chin. You know, she's going to have to set it up. So, yeah, we'll see how this one plays out, y'all. Um, UFC 300. Um, so far, we only got two women's fights on the card. Hopefully... You know, they had a couple more, but I, I really doubt it now because I think they're up to like 11 fights already. They're probably going to settle in for like 12. But we'll see, guys. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think of this fight. I like it. Suarez will get her shot pretty soon, you know, when she makes her return from her injury. Don't worry, y'all. Stop crying. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.